we're going to throw out some weight loss common sense here. All right. As you guys know, I've been very successful on my weight loss journey. And I'm going to go through the few things that made me successful while I was doing one meal a day. The key to success with OMAD is repetition, having the same routine day in and day out. And I am right now going to re-mimic that routine. First thing I did was I would have my big hot cup of water of electrolytes. So now that I'm using Element, I have a link in my Amazon store below if you want to check that out. I just get a hot cup of water, put some Element in it, put some baking soda in it, and I drink that big hot cup of water. Then I would either go to the gym, go to my appointments, or get my son ready to go to school. And then once I did that, I would come home and I would meditate. And then I would break my fast at the same time every day. Now breaking my fast, usually at six o'clock PM around there. So the hour before I break my fast it is dedicated to me breaking that fast. That is where I prepare my meal. That is where I weigh myself right before I break my fast and put it in my little weight log book. And I would make sure I would have similar meals on the daily. So we're going to go back to some form of consistency. Today is going to be a one meal a day vlog. I started my fast at six o'clock PM yesterday and I'm currently 16 hours into my fast. I will tell you exactly what I'm in 16 hours and 24 minutes into my fast and Right now, we are going to make some consistency. So what I want to do, because I'm not going to be doing OMAD all the time, but I am going to be doing too mad when I work out. Um, my schedule for the next couple days is this. Today, I'm not going to the gym. My body said no. So when I don't exercise, I like to do a longer intermittent fast. Now, if I'm going days without exercising, I like to do an extended fast. Tomorrow, I'm getting an injection into my hip. And according to the doctor, I need to make sure I do not work for 48 hours. I am dealing with consequences from a car accident, which is what triggered my journey with OMAD. I lost 60 pounds with OMAD. My overall weight loss journey, I started off at 282 pounds and I got down to 169 pounds with a combination of mainly OMAD, keto, always keto, keto, OMAD, Seco, and high protein kind of diets. So the next couple days, things are gonna be a little bit, you know, different, but I just want to make sure that you guys understand this. You got to be able to adjust to changes. The routine might be coming off a bit, but as long as you're doing the same habits day in and day out, your brain will automatically in line for you. And the reason why I'm saying this is that you want to hack your mind. You want your mind to work for you, be an advantage for you. When you repetitively do the same things over and over again, that's how you get results. Success is boring. There is no magic secret. It's doing the same thing day in and day out. So since I'm getting an injection in my hip, a hyaluronic acid injection, just to get the joint fluid, because I have two torn labrums, they're slightly torn, so we're not going to do surgery on it for now. And I also have tons of other injuries. I am going to go into an extended fast because I can't work out for 48 hours. You'll see that vlog in a bit. Make sure you hit subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel yet so you can keep up to date with my videos. So there will be a fast coming out in the next few days. So today, my new routine is first thing in the morning, I like to have my gut health drink. So that is apple cider vinegar, squeezed lemons, two freshly squeezed lemon, a probiotic, and some cayenne pepper pills. So I have that first thing in the morning. Then I have tons of water. And then I jump into my electrolyte drink. And some days I have coffee, some days I don't. Since I want to get some content creation going, today I'm going to have coffee. And I'm going to make sure I have that coffee with one pill of berberine. For all my Canadians out there, this is the berberine supplement I recommend. To my American friends, please go look at my Amazon store USA. It's linked in my description below. I'll also link the product directly. There is an American version of this. Usually with Amazon, there's like an American version and a Canadian version, but they're basically both the same thing. 
And yes, you want to be taking 1500 milligrams per day. And you want to be taking your berberine just after you eat or before or during your meal, I believe. So I'm taking one right now with my coffee because I don't want to forget. And I am working on getting another CGM. This time I'm going to actually get the patch on top of it to protect it. So yeah, I will get my CGM tomorrow for my fast because when I wear my continuous glucose monitor, it really helps me to understand what is going on physiologically in my body, which also motivates me to stick to a routine. One thing I don't miss about OVAD is freezing my butt off when I'm in an already freezing environment. I am so cold right now. I'm 20 hours into my fast. I could end my fast right now. But I want to push it a bit longer because I'm gearing my body up for a 48 hour fast starting tomorrow. So um, the always hardest day of a prolonged fast is that first day. It's usually around this mark, the 20 hour, 22 hour mark. But once you go to bed, you're good to go. And then the next day is like easy. So I'm just walking to pick up my son. And I'm so cold, but I notice all of um, progress of fat loss. And being cold is a sign that you're burning fat, so don't you worry, okay? Um, I gotta look at it that way. It's a sign I'm burning fat. Anyway, it's only five degrees. I'll put the Fahrenheit translation below, but I'm so cold. <laughs> That's not cold for us, especially here in, I don't know, where do I live? Siberia. All right, I can't go any longer, so I'm gonna break this fast. It's hard jumping in out of my own mad, but I like to challenge myself to see if I still got it. So I am currently going to break my fast at 21 hours and 12 minutes. Here is my meal. It is a keto taco salad, as you can see. Now tomorrow, I think I'm gonna do an carb OMAD because tomorrow I'm gonna go into my fast. So I think it's, I like to load up in carbs before I go into a long fast because it helps me. Anyway, that's for tomorrow's video. Today's OMAD is a keto OMAD video and I'm sharing with you the macros and calories for this meal, 626 calories, four grams of net carbs, 41 grams of protein and 51 grams of fat. Correction on the net carbs, that's four grams of total carbs. Net carbs is four. <laughs> so I'm going to break my fast with this lovely meal. Breaking this fast at 21 hours and 14 minutes. Let's get it done. Oh, I'm obsessed with these keto salads. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, the reason why there's so many calories in it, because I've got sour cream and I've got Mighty Caesar dressing, nice and fat. And then there's cheese. <laughs> keto cookies anybody mm. so my son's like what you want some want what? keto cookies my son loves my keto treats but anyhow i am gonna have two of these now this one is misshaped these are supposed to be 90 calories each but i think this big guy here is probably two um I don't know what I did. Oops, I just dropped the cookies. Bo can't have those because it's full of artificial sweeteners. So, yeah. All right, here's my next little meal here. It is a, this is coconut whipped cream and it is in a protein shake. I'm going to have this. I also had a piece of keto chocolate cake earlier. Yum. All right, so that day I had 1,324 calories. 31 grams of net carbs, or carbs, 81 grams of protein, 103 grams of fat, and I will tell you the net carbs right now once I get it. In total, net carbs is 21 grams. So the key to weight loss, as I what I posted in my recent video, I can't talk right now, my concussion's acting up, and I just can't talk, period, is... You can't have 1,300 calories one day and do 1,800 calories the next. It needs to be consistent. When I was losing weight... 
that was my Amazon order for my podcast. It came, but when I was losing weight, I was consistent with one calorie number. When I say one calorie number, within a 100 calorie range. So if my calories were 1400 calories, it would be like 1400, 1450, 1475. I was told not to go more than 50. It doesn't matter. I think if you with if you are within that 100 calorie range, you're fine. For me right now. 1500 calories is the goal. I need to do that daily consistently. Yesterday I did 1600. Listen, it's better than what it was before. When you're making a transition, it's going to be a gradual process of change. Remember that it's going to be an incremental process. Too many of us want the quick fix, but the success lies in delayed gratification. So remember that. Anyway, if you made this, made it, I can't talk today this far into the video. There's a wolf. You made it this far into the video, just dropping some dog emojis. And I'm sending you guys mad love. Take care. Get in the house. Bye.